Are you looking for some affordable Air Jordan 1s? Some sleeper colorways that you just might be able to get for the low? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over 10 different Air Jordan 1 highs that you can add to your collection for under 200 bucks. Starting with the first shoe, we have the Heritage Air Jordan 1. Retail on these was $170. And currently, this shoe is selling for just under retail. Depending on the size, you might be able to find it even farther under retail. Now, I'm a size 13, so also take that into perspective on the sizes and prices when it comes to these shoes. Because typically, if you have a smaller foot size, you're actually gonna be able to get all these shoes for a lower price as well so for this sneaker in particular you have a pretty basic color blocking pattern with white and red on the upper giving you that toe style now some people would have preferred different options and we heard a lot of criticisms about this shoe compared to other ones in the past but at the end of the day i still think it is a pretty clean shoe and to be able to have the opportunity to purchase these under retail or at the retail price point i think that's still a good deal we see this shoe still restocking at some stores and some stores actually never even had to worry about the restock because they never ended up selling out at all now taking into the next shoe this is going to be a similar situation as the heritage one and that is going to be the brotherhood air jordan one i personally love how they did this sneaker when it comes to the materials but the coloring is something that a lot of people had issues with simply because it's a little bit harder to match with a lot of sneakers and we know with all the demand around jordan ones and it has to be a special collaboration or something like that or especially a neutral color that can be worn with a lot of different outfits it makes it a lot easier for those type of colorways to sell so when we see something like this a lot of people are going to appreciate it and the people that actually get this shoe in hand they're going to touch it and feel the materials and love the sneaker but at the same time if you're in the market of reselling sneakers you're definitely not going to be able to make too much money on this shoe as of right now that doesn't mean in a few years from now all these shoes couldn't be worth you know 200 to 300 bucks depending on the shoe and that is something that could also potentially happen so if you're looking to get that special gem right now and then you hold on to it and later it's worth something and you're glad you got it and you're rocking it in your collection again this might just be the perfect video for you next up we have a sneaker that came out a couple years Years ago and honestly I was a little bit surprised when I saw this one pop up on the list but that is the vault university gold air Jordan 1 I know a lot of people were speaking very highly of this sneaker when it first came out I personally have a pair in my collection I love the shoe as well I think this is definitely a dope sneaker and I like the little switch ups with the elements but again slightly hard to wear with a lot of different outfits so I can understand that aspect and a lot of people being a little bit more picky and choosy when it comes to these different models oh yeah and we've already made it this far into the video but if you didn't know by now my name is DJ and this this is the DNA show hey! on this channel I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys all the tips and tricks and the things I've learned over the years so if you haven't already consider subscribing and joining the fam we're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there now let's take it to sneaker number four and that's gonna be the Ko Japan neutral gray Air Jordan 1 now these things are just hovering above $170 and that was the retail price point and honestly I am very surprised by this one not only because the shoe has been out for a couple years and typically when a sneaker has been out for a while the price starts to increase over time but i personally have so many memories and nostalgia from the previous retros and the og pair from the past in the early 2000s so i thought you know as the, all the older heads we're like oh this is a great sneaker we got to gobble these up because we got a feeling that they're going to go up in value which they didn't and that's completely fine as well but the reason why i say that we got a feeling they're going to go up in value is because typically when you have a sneaker that you want you don't want to miss out when you can get it for the good price because later a few years later next thing you know the price is really high super expensive and you're like bro i remember a couple years ago i used to be able to buy those for 170 bucks and now they're going for 280 and then it just makes everything a little bit harder for you to pull that trigger on the shoe once the prices rose so much so that's definitely something always to consider as well if you see anything that you like on this list the price may go down maybe a little bit more but at this point i feel like everything's at a pretty low and i think a lot of these shoes are really good deals and really good cops next up for a size 13 just around 180 190 bucks we have the bordeaux air jordan one again done a review on this shoe i have these in my collection i love this shoe i feel like they did a really good job i know again it's not the you know ultimate universal type sneaker and people are being more selective on that aspect but at the same time i feel like they did a really good job when it comes to the materials the overall execution on the shoe and i'm not mad at these at all i know some people were kind of indecisive about the swoosh seeing it silver and whatever like to see it in black or different things like that at the end of the day that's the product that we got i think it's a pretty good cop and something nice to have in the collection for the years to come next up right here we have the handcraft air jordan one these personally didn't really stick with me when it comes to wanting to add these to my collection but i did see the shoe in hand and i know a lot of people i've heard from them as well they look really good they feel really good they did a nice job when it comes to the craftsmanship of the sneaker and for that reason i know a lot of people did want to have these in their collection so it's definitely always nice to see that people can still add dope shoes to their collection at an affordable price now this next shoe right here came out like i don't even remember like three or four years ago or something like that and i am so surprised 
surprised. Like I thought at this point, like the shoe would at least be like, you know, 300, 280, 325, somewhere around there. But these things are hovering around 180, 200 bucks. And that is the Sports Illustrated Air Jordan 1. Again, I was very happy about this sneaker when I saw it. I personally decided not to keep it just because of the swoosh and the different colors. And maybe that's the reason why other people chose not to select that sneaker and have that in their collection as well. I don't know. I just thought overall they did a solid job on the sneaker and I thought people were going to appreciate it. And you know, typically, like I said, over time, shoes start to rise in value. So I thought this would just naturally kind of go up to that, that 250, 280, somewhere around there. Who knows? But again, a very affordable sneaker, a older sneaker from the past. So if you're a sneaker head that just got in the game over the past year or two, you might be able to take a little glimpse back to, you know, three or four years ago and still find some Air Jordan ones that are still affordable at the current time right now. Now, next up on the list, we have the Dark Marina Blue Air Air Jordan 1. Again, I think it's just because there were so many Jordan 1s coming out at the same time and we just saw the market just being flooded with all these shoes. It kind of made it harder for everybody to be like, you know what, I can afford to go buy all these sneakers. So people got a lot more selective and this was kind of during that transitional time some months ago when this shoe came out and people started to realize like, oh, more Jordan 1s are starting to sit on shelves and they're a little bit easier to get and now I can understand this and all that. So people are starting to get that kind of aspect of the game and then now we're starting to see not that much of stuff, even when it comes to not Jordan ones, but just other retros aren't selling out, different stuff like that. So again, that's a whole nother topic on the shoe game, but this was kind of one of those transitional sneakers. So to see these hidden right around 200 bucks, you could probably find these for maybe even retail. I remember people offered me pairs for below retail in person for paying cash. So again, look for good deals and try to, you know, talk people down maybe 20 or 30 bucks and that might get you at that retail price point. Or if you're a smaller size, again, you might be able to already be under that price point depending on what size shoe you are. Next up, we have the Pollen Air Jordan 1s. Now I know these are priced just over 200 bucks, but I wanted to put these on the list because again, like I was talking about with the last shoe, if you come to somebody with cash, you should be able to get this shoe for 200 or a little bit below $200. Typically people are gonna work with you and a lot of people are kind of desperate to sell their sneakers right now so you're gonna be able to find those people that are like need the cash and they're still selling it and they were like if they got it for retail maybe they could try to break even and then you could still get the sneaker and be a happy camper so always consider those options I personally love these as you guys know I rock that shoe I'm a Steelers fan go Steelers you know what I'm saying gang gang we in this thing drop a comment down below you know football season coming up what's your favorite NFL team I would love to hear it go Steelers baby anyways on to the next shoe and that is the Air Jordan 1 high zoom crater now now these right here are going to be extremely comfortable and the best thing that I love about this shoe is it's a pretty dark shoe so you could really rock these with a lot of different outfits yeah you got some stitching on the back that's going to be with the red but realistically I think you would be fine with that red on the back and be able to put these with a lot of different things so personally I thought these were a great addition to the list and I thought something you know other people consider especially with the zoom and the shoe being more comfortable if you're looking for an everyday type of Air Jordan 1 sneaker those were 10 different Air Jordan 1s right there again if you guys want to see any of them down below I have it all listed for you in the comment section and if you want to see other videos like this in the future with me doing more air Jordan ones low tops mids whatever it is let me know down below in the comment section what you guys would like to see next whether it may be a hundred two hundred three hundred four hundred five hundred thousand dollar budget whatever it is I don't know let me know I'll see you guys in the other one all right y'all I'm out Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite Air Jordan 1 pickup this year that you either got for retail or below retail. I would love to hear it. Drop a comment.